Its top story, the battle over books in county libraries is now in front of the Greenville County Council. Dozens filled the council chambers for a public comment session this afternoon. The overwhelming topic of discussion had to do with the library system, specifically LGBTQ books that currently sit on the shelves. Well, Fox County's Zach Perletsky is joining us live now in studio to break down this controversy and what could happen next. Zach. Justin, book battles have been going on across the country and in counties across the upstate recently. Here in Greenville County, the debate was really sparked after the Greenville County Republican Party called to remove what they called sexually explicit books from the kids section last month. Now, over the last few weeks, we have seen the Traveler's Rest Police Department get called to the TR Library branch after it was reported obscene material was being spread. Now, the police chief later said that that claim was investigated and unfounded. Earlier this month, an anonymous letter by a library system employee called for a change in leadership, outlining an alleged hostile work environment. And today, speakers on both sides of the issue made passionate claims to the county council about the future of the library system and LGBT. TQ plus books. My word isn't really needed to defend the library system. Two investigations by local police should be enough to reveal these accusations for what they are, baseless fear mongering. Just because it's drawn pictures, that doesn't mean that it's right. It belongs in an area for adults only. We are not trying to say ban the books. We're just saying get it out of the children's area. Now it is important to note and was pointed out by one of the council members during this public comment session that the county council has no real authority over decisions made regarding the library system. The council only appoints members to the library board and that board is in charge of what happens at libraries across the county. However, during this public comment session, two council members, Ennis Fant and Stan Juvalakis, discussed the possibility of removing board members who don't move books or cutting the library system's budget. I think we can introduce a resolution encouraging them to take this kind of stuff and at least put it in a section where you got to at least be 18. Yeah. Yeah. Come January, when she comes, when they come up for an approval, if this isn't fixed, I'm low no for their budget. Now, Fox Carolina has learned from the library board chair that the materials committee, that's a subcommittee of the library board, is looking at the placement of books throughout the library system. And the Greenville County Council, they plan on discussing this issue when the full council meets next Tuesday, November 1st. Justin.